welcome i welcome you all to this lecture in the course samasa in paninian grammar and this is the first course as is our practice we begin our lecture with the recitation of the mangala charana vishvesham satchidanandam वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया विश्वेशम सच्चिदानंदम वंदेहम योखिलन जगत चरी करती बरी भरती संजरी हरती लीलया इन दिस कोर्स we are concentrated on the tatpurusha samasa we have stated that tatpurusha samasa is by far the most productive of the four types of samasas in sanskrit the four types are avyayi bhava tatpurusha bahurihi and dvandva stated in that order in ashtadhyayi the core text of the paninian grammar and grammatical tradition be it samasa vidhayaka sutras or samasanta pratyaya vidhayaka sutras or swara vidhayaka sutras the number of sutras composed by panini in order to treat the tatpurusha samasa are quite a lot in comparison with the sutras composed to explain the other types of samasas namely avibhava bahuvrihi and dvandva there are also quite a lot of varieties of tatpurusha samasa that we have studied in this particular course first we studied vibhakti tatpurusha samasa and within this we also studied some more sub types namely the द्वितीय विभक्ति तत्पुरुष तृतीय विभक्ति तत्पुरुष चतुर्थी विभक्ति तत्पुरुष पंचमी विभक्ति तत्पुरुष सप्तमी विभक्ति तत्पुरुष एंड देन षष्ठी विभक्ति तत्पुरुष इन दैट ऑर्डर एज स्टेटेड इन अष्टाध्यायी द कोर टेक्स्ट ऑफ द पाणिनियन ग्रामर एंड ग्रामेटिकल ट्रेडिशन देन वी ऑल्सो स्टडीड द कर्मधाराय समास in which we also studied dvigu samasa following that we studied ekadeshi samasa and also nay tatpurusha samasa following that we studied gati tatpurusha samasa and then we studied upapada tatpurusha samasa the formation of the tatpurusha samasa can be shown in the form of a simple equation of this kind where you have x and y and we have been stressing the, this fact again and again x and y are two separate two independent entities in terms of meaning in terms of the word form and also in terms of the accent but x and y are semantically interrelated now the speaker of sanskrit decides to merge these two units together and form another unit called xy and this is our samasa now this xy becomes one unit in terms of artha shabda and swara meaning word form and accent the three features of this xy are described in three words aikarthya or ekash eka arthata aikashabdya or ekashabdata and aikaswarya 
or ekasvara ta. Now, in this xy, y assumes the position of the head semantically. What it means is that when xy is interrelated with any other word in the sentence, xy will be related to that other word through y. In other words, x, if at all, is to be related with any other external word in the sentence, it is only through y that x is interrelated. When x is related to any such word external to xy without going through y, such a samasa is considered to be an exception and is treated as an asamartha samasa. We have studied these features so far in this particular course. We also studied the process of the derivation of the Tatparusha Samasa in which the Laukika Vigraha plays the prominent role in which the interrelation of words is highlighted, in which Vyapeksha Lakshana Samarthya is highlighted, from which an Alaukika Vigraha gets formed and the process of compounding begins over there, immediately after which is added the Samasanta Pratyaya. In this lecture, we shall focus on the Samasanta Pratyaya that is added in the Tatpurusha Samasa. Samasanta Pratyaya, the Pratyaya which is added at the end of a Samasa, notably the Tatpurusha Samasa. We have studied this aspect in brief in the initial part of this particular course. Let us focus on some specific Pratyayas that get added in the formation of the Tatpurusha Samasa. Samasantaha is an Adhikara Sutra in which all the Samasanta Pratyayas get covered. Samasantaha is 5468 and this Adhikara Sutra has its scope up to the end of 5.4 which is 54160. These are the suffixes which are added at the end of the compound. Because they are samasantas, they are also part of the compound because the word anta refers to anta avayava. So, the final part of the compound. They are not just added after the end of the compound. They are part of the compound. So, they also function in determining the ending of the compound and thereby determining the feminine gender suffix that is to be added after the compound. The other function of the Samasanta Pratyayas is also to determine the accent of the compound. With this much information, let us now proceed to study some Samasanta Pratyayas that are added at the end of a Tatpurusha Samasa and the sutras stating such Samasanta Pratyayas. First we go to 5486 Tatpurushasya Angulehe Sankhyavyaya Dehe. This sutra has got three words Tatpurushasya Angulehe and Sankhyavyaya Dehe. Tatpurushasya is 6 slash 1 which means part of the Tatpurusha compound. Angulehe is 6 slash 1 which means which ends in the word Anguli. Sankhyavya Dehe is also 6 slash 1 which means whose initial constituent is either a number 
or an indeclinable referring to the tatpurusha as the whole whose initial constituent is either a number sankhya or an indeclinable namely the avyaya words continued are ach from 5475 pratyayaha which is 1/1 from 311 and so the meaning of the sutra is the following the suffix ach is added at the end of a tatpurusha compound which ends in the word anguli and which begins with either a number or an indeclinable i repeat the suffix ach is added at the end of a tatpurusha compound which ends in the word anguli and which begins with either a number or an indeclinable so when the meaning to be conveyed is the following namely something whose major is two fingers then we have dve anguli pramanam asya as the laukika vigraha from which we derive the following alaukika vigraha dvi plus au plus anguli plus au plus matrach and this matrach is a tadhita suffix and when this suffix is to be added dvi plus au and anguli plus au get compounded now to this tatpurusha compound the suffix ach is added because this tatpurusha samasa ends in anguli and begins with a word indicating a number 2 so we have in the next step dvi plus au plus anguli plus au plus ach plus matrach now the samasa saudhnya takes place so pratipadika saudhnya takes place and then this suffix matrach is also deleted and because of the pratipadika saudhnya sup is also deleted so we have dvi plus 0 plus anguli plus 0 plus a which is ach which remains plus 0 and then we have dvi plus angul plus a and finally dvi angula and then there is yan sandhi taking place and so we get the form dvyangula as a finally derived compound output dvyangula dve anguli pramanam asya something which is measured by two fingers that is called dvyangula ending in a similarly when we have the meaning one which is removed from fingers nirgatam angulibhya when this is the laukika vigraha we have nir plus su plus anguli plus ngas as the so we have nir plus su plus anguli plus bhyas as the alaukika vigraha and here we have the word anguli coming at the end of a tatpurusha samasa and nir which is an avyaya coming in the initial position of the tatpurusha samasa so this sutra 5486 applies and we add the samasanta suffix ach here so we have nir plus su plus anguli plus bhyas plus ach and then the samasa saudhnya takes place so the pratipadika saudhnya takes place and supodhatu pratipadika yoho applies and so we have nir plus 0 plus anguli plus 0 plus a and then finally e in anguli gets dropped so we have nir plus 0 plus angul plus 0 
plus a that is nirangula and the finally derived compound output is nirangula which means nirgatam angulibhya one which is removed from fingers so in these are the examples where the tatpurusha samasa ends in the word anguli and begins with sankhya indriyangula and an avyaya in nirgatam and then we get the ach samasanta pratyaya added and finally we get the compound output ending in short a dvyangula as well as nirangula now we go to the next sutra 5487 which is ahas sarvaika desha sankhyata punyaccha ratrehe 5487 here also there are three padas explicitly stated in the sutra ahas sarvaika desha sankhyata punyat this is one pad cha is the second pad and ratrehe is the third pad ahas sarvaika desha sankhyata punyat is one pad whose case is 5 slash 1 immediately after these ahan sarva ekadesh sankhyat and punya ch means and and this ch brings together sankhya vyaya dehe from the previous sutra and then the word ratrehe which is in 6 slash 1 as part of the compound ending in the word ratri words continued are ach from 5475 pratyayaha from 311 and samasantaha from 5468 so the meaning of the sutra is this the suffix ach is added at the end of a tatpurusha compound which ends in the word ratri and which begins with either a number or an indeclinable as well as with ahan sarva ekadesha sankhyat and punya i repeat the suffix ach is added at the end of a tatpurusha compound which ends in the word ratri and which begins with either a number or an indeclinable as well as with ahan सर्व एकदेश संख्यात एंड पुण्य सो द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द समास एंड द समासांत प्रत्यय एडेड ओवर हियर कैन बी शोन इन द फॉलोइंग फॉर्मैट सो वी हैव अहन एट्सेट्रा और संख्या और अव्यय ऑक्यूपाइंग द इनिशियल position together with the sub and this becomes the purva pad plus ratri plus sub given this situation we have the output generated in the form of ahan or sankhya or avyaya plus sub plus ratri plus sub plus ach and this will be the output after adding the samasanta pratyaya so now when the meaning to be conveyed is the whole night we have the laukika vigraha sarva ratrihi and then we have the alaukika vigraha sarva plus su plus ratri plus su now this is a tatpurusha samasa ending in the word ratri and the initial member of this compound is sarva and so this is mentioned in 5487 and so here now 5487 applies and we add the samasanta suffix ach here so we get sarva plus su plus ratri plus su plus ach as the next step of the derivation of this compound and so the samasa saudnya applies the pratipadika saudnya applies so supodhatu pratipadika yoho applies and so we have sarva plus 0 plus ratri plus 0 plus a 
and then pomad bhava takes place sarva becomes sarva and e in ratri is deleted because of a so we have sarva plus 0 plus ratra plus 0 plus a and when we join them together we get the finally derived compound output namely sarva ratra sarva ratra means sarva ratri hi the whole night remember the word ratri ends in e by adding the samasanta suffix ach the samasa ends in a namely sarva ratra similarly when the meaning is earlier part of the night here we are dealing with ekadesha so we have purvam ratre he and purvam ratre he becomes purva ratra as the finally derived compound output and the prathama ekavachana is purva ratra similarly counted night is the meaning to be conveyed and sankhyata ratrihi is the laukika vigraha and sankhyata ratra would be the finally derived compound output similarly auspicious night is the meaning to be conveyed and punya ratrihi is the laukika vigraha and the finally derived compound output is punya ratra and the prathama ekavachana is punya ratra similarly two nights together is the meaning to be conveyed so dve ratri samarhate this is the laukika vigraha and the finally derived compound output would be dviratra and the prathama ekavachana is dviratra similarly one who goes beyond the night atikrantah ratrim is the laukika vigraha and atiratra would be the finally derived compound output and atiratra would be the prathama ekavachana of the samasa now we go to the next sutra 5488 थ्री which means immediately after these referring to the fifth case mentioned in 5487 ah sarvaikadesha sankhyata punyat and also sankhya vyaya dehe from 5486 words continued are touch from 5491 which is quite strange but this is how the tradition interprets this particular sutra now the meaning is in the condition of the suffix touch added by 5491 the word ahan is replaced by anh ending in a and preceded by that is immediately after ahan sarva ekadesha sankhyata punya as well as sankhya and avyaya i repeat in the condition of the suffix touch added by 5491 the word ahan is replaced by anha ending in a when preceded by or when immediately after ahan sarva ekadesha sankhyat punya as well as sankhya and avyaya so the structure of the samasa and the substitution can be shown in the following manner when the purva pada is ahan sarva ekadesha sankhyata punya as well as sankhya and avyaya and the uttara pada is ahan followed by the samasanta pratyaya touch this ahan is replaced by anh so here we have ahan plus ahan plus touch and this is not possible in a tatpurusha samasa similarly 
पुण्य प्लस अहन प्लस टच एंड अन्न सब्सटीट्यूशन इज निगेटेड इन दिस केस बाय द सूत्र उत्तम एकाभ्याम च ऑल्सो संख्या प्लस अहन प्लस टच एंड अन्न सब्सटीट्यूशन इज निगेटेड बाय फाइव फोर एटी नाइन न संख्या दे हे समाहारे सो इन दीज टू केसेस फाइव फोर नाइंटी वन अप्लाइज विदाउट दिस सब्सटीट्यूशन इन द प्रीवियस सूत्र ऑल्सो वेन द वर्ड अहन वॉज स्टेटेड एज द पूर्व पद एंड रात्रि वॉज स्टेटेड एज द उत्तर पद द तत्पुरुष समास इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज अ द्वंद्व समास एंड देर फॉर द एग्जाम्पल वॉज नॉट डिस्कस्ड ओवर देर सो नाउ वी हैव द मीनिंग टू बी कन्वेड नेमली सर्व अह वेर वी हैव सर्व प्लस सु प्लस अहन प्लस सु एंड दिस इज अ तत्पुरुष समास एंडिंग इन अहन so the suffix touch is added by 5491 and so now we have the samasa saudnya and then the pratipadika saudnya applies and then we apply the supodhatu pratipadika yoho sutra and then we delete the sups so we have sarva plus 0 plus ahan plus 0 plus a and then we have sarva plus 0 and now this ahan gets substituted by anha ending in a so we have sarva plus anha plus a and then the final a in anha gets deleted so we have sarva plus anha plus a and then this na is substituted by na by the sutra anho adantat and so we have sarva anha a and sarvanha as the finally derived compound output which means the same thing as sarvam aha all day similarly when the meaning is earlier part of the day so here we are dealing with the ekadesha purvam anha this will be the laukika vigraha and the finally derived compound output would be purvanha and the prathama ekavachana is purvanha similarly when the meaning is to be conveyed is later part of the day and aparam anha would be the laukika vigraha and the finally derived compound output would be aparanha and the prathama ekavachana would be aparanha similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is the counted day so sankhyatam aha would be the laukika vigraha and the finally derived output is sankhyatanha and the prathama ekavachana is sankhyatanha similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is something which is made in two days dvayoh anhoh bhavah dvayor anhor bhavah this is the laukika vigraha and so we have dvi plus os plus ahan plus os plus an which is the taddita suffix and so we have the samasa stated by the sutra taddita taddhitarthottara pada samaharecha so dvi plus os plus ahan plus os this is the tatpurusha samasa and therefore the suffix touch is added so dvi plus os plus ahan plus os plus touch plus an and now this an suffix is also deleted and because of the samasa saudnya and the pratipadika saudnya the sups are also deleted so we have dvi plus 0 plus ahan plus 0 plus a plus 0 and so we have dvi plus anh where anh replaces ahan and so we have dvi plus anh plus a and the final a in anh is deleted and so we have dvi plus anh plus a and so finally we have dvanh meaning dvayor anhor bhavah something which is made in two days similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is something who has gone beyond a day ahar atikrantah and the alaukika vigraha is ati plus su plus ahan plus am 
and so here we add the samasanta suffix touch so the samasa saudnya takes place pratipadika saudnya also takes place so supadhatu pratipadika yoga applies and deletes the sups so we have ati plus 0 plus ahan plus 0 plus a and then we have ati plus 0 plus anha plus 0 plus a in this anha is substituting ahan and final a in anha gets deleted and so we have ati plus anha plus a and finally we get atyanha as the finally derived compound output which means ahar atikrantah or something who has gone beyond a day the next sutra we study is na sankhya dehe samahare in this sutra there are three padas na sankhya dehe and samahare na means not sankhya dehe is 6/1 at the beginning of which is a word denoting number samahare is the 7/1 meaning in the sense of collection words continued are tatpurushasya 6/1 which means part of the tatpurusha compound anha 6/1 in place of ahan meaning a day and anha 1/1 substitute anha ending in short a so the meaning of the sutra is the word ahan is not replaced by anha ending in a when preceded by or immediately after a word denoting number when the compound denotes the sense of collection i repeat the word ahan is not replaced by anha ending in a when preceded by or immediately after a word denoting number when the compound denotes the sense of collection so when the meaning to be conveyed is a collection of two days dve ahani samarhate and the finally derived compound output is dvyah where ahan is not substituted by anh similarly trini ahani samarhatani is the laukika vigrah to convey the meaning a collection of three days and the finally derived compound output would be trah anha substitution does not take place also we have uttamai ka abhyam cha the next sutra 5490 which means the word ahan is not replaced by anha ending in short a when preceded by or when immediately after the words uttama and ek the word uttama here the tradition has stated means the word punya so when the meaning to be conveyed is the best day the laukika vigrah is uttamam aha and the finally derived compound output is uttamah similarly when the meaning to be conveyed is one day the laukika vigrah is ekam aha and the finally derived compound output is ekah to summarize the suffix added at the end of the tatpurusha samasa is added immediately after the term samasa is applied at the stage of the alaukika vigraha itself the suffix is added in various environments triggering different rules to apply to generate the output compound the suffix also triggers rules which add feminine suffixes the suffix at the end of the compound changes the shape of the output ratri becomes ratra anguli becomes anga at the, angula at the end these are the texts referred to thank you very much